Of course, he's essentially and using the, the 800 metres to sharpen himself, himself for his main target here at these games, the 1500. Strength. Bit of a frown on his face, and I was talking to him just before the race in the warm-up track, asking him how his tendon is. He waved his hands as if it was a bit shaky, but he's on the track, and I'm sure if he's on the track, he's in good shape. He doesn't have the speed that he used to have as a young man, uh, struggling against some of our younger runners. Of course, he's been beaten by a couple this season. Uh, be interesting to see how he goes in this 800, but he's using this really as a warm-up for his 15. Sebastian Coe, who you may have seen in that previous shot, they're looking very oh, suntanned, wow. obviously enjoying the couple of weeks he's had here in New Zealand and the three, four weeks earlier than that in Australia. So the first heat in the first round of the men's 800 metres is underway. Of course, the runners must run in lanes until they hit the start of the back straight for the first 100 metres of the journey. And going out very strongly is Sami Tirop, the Kenyan. As they break now, as they pass through that area with the red flags, and they can now chop down onto the inside lane with the Scotsman David Strang on the outside, Sammy Tirop, John Walker, the tall figure there of Neil Horsfield, the Welshman, who's better known as a 1,500-metre runner. Well, Walker's got himself into a good position, getting a little bit of shelter there behind the leading runners, and the three in front of him are all good performers. Seb Cohen is outside, and uh, the man from Zam Zimbabwe, Homola Melford, uh, in the back there with the orange stripe around his chest runs pretty well so this will be a, a real contest for walker to get through a tremendous reception these athletes are getting as they pass the home straight in front of the big stadium here you'd think it was the final of the 800 meters well walker still in a good position behind the welshman horsefield he's getting shelter up the back straight now but he must be ready for some kicks to come remember it's the first four that go through to the semi-finals and it's Sammy Tirop, Neil Horsfield, David Strong, the Scotsman, then John Walker and Sebastian Coe, along with this very promising junior, Melford Homela from Zimbabwe. Now you can see David Strong working his shoulders, trying to pick the pace up. Walker has to match it, and he's doing that. There's Seb Coe just cruising around. Walker in fifth place at the moment, but he's got to finish in the first four. Melford, the Zimbabwean, coming with a big kick over the last 100 metres. It's Sammy Tirop. He's a 144 man. No problems with this pace. Sammy Tirop making sure of a berth in the semi-finals. Sebastian Coe there as well. Strong. Now Walker's going to have to watch it. In fact, he finished fifth. Well, he still may get through as one of the fastest losers. But he'll have to wait. But it was Sammy Tirop, the Kenyan, who won the first round in the men's 800 metres in the first heat in 148.60. The gun sounds for the start of the second heat in round one of the men's 800 metres. The fastest in the field is Nixon Kipritich running in lane number two. But there's some concern in the Kenyan camp this morning over Kipritich, who's had a, a mild bout of malaria since he's been in New Zealand, and he's uh, been quite sick for the last couple of days. And it'll be interesting to just to see how he goes in this first race. Well, he's confident at the moment, Brendan, and he's gone to the lead through the first 200 metres, and it's a pretty leisurely 27.24, so the pace is not really on, but as you said, look at the length of his legs and just how casual he looks. I mean, the guy is so relaxed. This is what 800-meter runners should look like if anybody wants to know how they should be as a good 800-meter runner. ...to get through to the next round. And as they line up for the run home, and Nixon Kipritip just has a little look around to see if he's safely inside the first four, that there's no one going to mow him down. They certainly won't. Kipritip is through, as is Icon Billy, along with Brian Whittle and the Canadian Paul Osland and in a sense I guess you could say kept Steve Cram out of here at the Commonwealth Games but he's justifying his selection at the moment he wants to make sure he's at least into the semi-finals he's having to watch the Kenyan now Michael Craig and the Canadian Michael Burke having a good contest for fourth place but Craig should be safe as Quebec and Yates come down they're safely through as is Burke and as is Michael Craig so John Walker must continue to wait but McKean, who's making a move, running around the outside. There he is, double 105. One of the big 800-metre men here at the Games. Could be a big threat to the Kenyans and to Sebastian Coe. Well, Simon Hugerworth, you could see the Canadian, got himself into all sorts of trouble there. I don't know what the trouble is here with Simon Doyle's singlet, but he always seems to poke one shoulder out of it. Now, Paul Breed has to try and gather himself and quickly spring in the straight of his if he can. Tom McKean just has a little look around. And this is a good run here coming from Tay, the box one, and he's safely through to the semi-finals, as is Tom McKean, Simon Doyle, and Hoogerworth. 
and Paul Breed coming home in fifth place. So he, like Walker, will have to wait to see if he can get through as one of the fastest leaders. Dave Coe is in four. Kipritich, the Kenyan, is in three. Hugerworth, the Canadian, in two. Brian Whittle from Scotland in lane number one. John Walker didn't look terribly comfortable there. He had, I think, a second thought about standing up and going down again, but he decided to steady himself. He took the gun. Brian Whittle, the Scotsman, out very smart. The two Kenyans here. Nixon Tip Kipritich, the tall figure, nearest to the camera. And further out, 31-year-old Sammy Tirok. And working hard down on the inside as big Nixon Tipritich has a look around to see where the challenges are coming from. Look at the legs of this man. He doesn't look at as he's moving terribly fast. An enormous stride. Kenyon's one and two. Whittle is there. Coe's there as well. Ike and Billy coming in in fifth place. But John Walker, his 800 meter campaign is over. Coming in at the tail of the field in the men's 800 meters first semi final. But I'm sure he's got valuable preparation today for the big race for him. And they're off in the men's 800 meters final before a crowd of 35,000 people. And out first and hard is Brian Whittle, the Scotsman, the 400 meter man who's moved up to 800 meters. Remember, they break when they hit the red flags after the first, eight, uh, first 100 meters. And the three Kenyans there right at the top of the field where we expect them to be, but it's Brian Whittle that's setting the pace. And where's Sebastian Coe? Tucked him in the middle. Boy, it's rough. It's rough, all right, because they all stop when they got to the 200-meter mark. Everybody wants to get a good position as they break lines, but the pace has picked up again. 24-7 through the 200. Quick. And it's Nixon Kipritich who's leading them out. Brian Whittler, Scotsman, alongside of him. Sebastian Coe running wide. And tucked in behind them is Robert Cabet, the Kenyan. Now, Nixon Kipritich with his big legs, he likes to lead from the front. He doesn't like getting caught up in the pack, where his rhythm and fluency is upset. So with a lap to go, Tom McKean from Scotland, third from the back. Remember, he's a favourite, not in a good position at the moment. Sebco running wide, he's giving away a lot of energy to maintain position. It's Kipritich leading from Brian Whittle, Sebastian Coe, Sammy Tirop, the Kenyan in fourth place, the Australian at the back of the field, and where's Tom McKean? You can see McKean just moving up on the outside now in the blue fest of Scotland. There he comes around the outside. It's a bunched field at the 200 metre mark, but it's the tall Kenyan, Nixon Kipritich. Now Coe starts to make a move, coming through on the inside is Tirup. Here comes the big challenge from Tom McKean. Now McKean is very strong, can be a really tough competitor, and he'll be hard here. The two Kenyans, Kipritich and Tirup, but down the outside comes Tom McKean, but has he left it too late? It's Kenya one and two, no sign of Sebastian Coe. They won't touch the Kenyans. two and I think the Englishman might have come through for third place Matthew Yates not an especially fast time 145.98 the gold and the silver medal going to Kenya Nixon Kipritich and Sammy Tirop